guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my uh, in Imperion Galactic Survival Let's Play. I'm still in problem saying that word. Uh, this is episode four, and we're just working on our base here, and I'm having a little trouble with the crafting room, um, because this first crafting thing we have to put down is just freaking huge. And I kind of wanted the crafting room to be the same size as the other room on the other side, but that's becoming a problem. So that's definitely going to go there. So we can just make this not not have windows on the sides, or maybe we could just make these uh, these too high and put the windows up top. Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that a lot. Six. So that means this will come up here. This will come up here, and then the windows will go right here, like so. Yeah, that's even better. That's even better. It's gonna be a it's gonna take a long time to build this, but you know, I got to have my awesome setup. Um alright, that's fine it's place for that. Alright, so now this thing has power. All right? It should. Alright, let's go ahead and craft some stuff. So alright, so we get two plates back for destroying one of these, and it takes two plates. Wow, you get exactly back what you got. So I could destroy these hull blocks and get exactly what I got, what I put into them. So that's awesome. I can't craft anything right now because I have to move stuff over here. But I don't know what's up with this door though. I'm not sure what I, what I'm supposed to do with this thing. I'm not sure. Maybe if we turn the power off. Can we turn the power off? I don't think we can. We could probably need a control panel or something for that. Uh, all right. Let's go back and uh, grab some. Well, oh, you know what? Let's go back, and we're going to need some storage. Uh, I kind of want the storage to be in the same room as the crafting room, just because that's what it's going to be. Yeah, it's definitely got to be in the same room as the crafting room. Um, so let's go ahead and extend this crafting room quite a bit. Uh, I'm not sure how far I want to extend this. Well, now I know I can destroy these without losing anything. Let's go ahead and just place a bunch of these down. All right, so how many is that? One, two, three... Four. Uh, it should probably be the third one. Should be the door. Or the fifth one. Ah, third one's good. Alright, that's gonna be the door. And then... Six, one... Two, three... One, two, three... That's gonna go upstairs. And this will be... This is a lot bigger of a room than I need. But I'm eventually gonna put down more of these fuel tanks. So it's nice to have the room, I guess. It's just... It's just, it's going to be a bigger room than I need, but that's okay. I don't have to make the room actually that big if I don't want to. I could just close part of it off. It's not really a big deal. But this room, I do want to be somewhat large. Large and in charge. Whoop. How's this thing doing anyway? 20 tanks. Got it. Alright, so... I don't think there's much more we can do here, guys. I think it's time to go home and uh, and get some other things made. We're going to need some... Uh, basically, what we're going to need is we're going to need to bring everything over. And in order to bring everything over, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need storage containers. That's number one. Uh, the storage room will be in the same room as my crafting room. The crafting room is going to have a lot of stuff in it. Upstairs, I'm going to have a place for a farm. Um, up, upstairs might actually be bigger than downstairs. But um, upstairs, I'm gonna have a I need a place for a farm, and I need a place for regenerating things like oxygen, stuff like that. Um, well, that might only be, and I probably need a command center. All right. I'm uh, I'm not I'm actually not gonna finish this base um, until basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the base operational to the point where I can build stuff in it, and then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna make a hover vehicle. I'm going to make a ground vessel. Um, that's very important. So uh, that's going to be my next thing. As soon as I get this base operational, um, that's as far as it's going to go. Didn't I destroy these? These respawned. Look at this. Oh, these didn't respawn, though. These, I thought I destroyed these. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just... Yeah, you know what? I probably never took them out. Whatever. Okay, so let's come on over here and let's see what we got here. We need... Let's First of all, let's see if we have any ores left. Uh, we do have some magnesium ore and some promethium ore. All right, so magnesium and promethium. Let's make sure. Let's refine those. Magnesium. Just make sure. And there. 
Okay. Let's make some more. Whatever. Just make sure it's all going to be used up. Okay. So next thing we're going to need to make is we're going to need uh, cargo boxes. I don't think there's any different like levels of cargo boxes. I think there's just cargo boxes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make two of those. And we, we have everything we need for them, so that's not really a big deal. Let's see if there's anything else we need to take with us. Well, there's a lot of stuff we need to take with us. Um, but I'm looking at anything in particular. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's wait until these stuff are, well, we need metal plates and control devices, so we're not going to need any of this. Uh, control devices, we don't need electronics. Metal components? No, metal plate. There, there, there. There. Okay, we're full already. <laughs> that didn't take long. All right, I don't feel like waiting for this, so let's um, let's get rid of these. Yeah, we're gonna take these over there. We're gonna start. Hey, what's up? Hi. Autumn just walked in. I'm almost done. I just have uh, 18 minutes left. Oh, okay. I'm gonna watch. Okay. So we're just gonna take our cargo boxes over to our base, and uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna begin storing stuff in there. We're gonna be transferring everything over to our base. Um, I'm going to set up the, yeah, I'm going to set up the food thingamabob. Actually, I might be able to make it now. Now, nah, let's make it over there. Um, actually, you know what? I think I need to actually go into the large constructor to make it. There's like a, a food processor. Uh, that's going to be the one thing I want to make. After I make the food processor, everything else is done. Like, I have oxygen. I have, I have a place for oxygen, food, health, and I don't really need anything else right at the, that very moment. So that will be my, if once the food processor is done, I will make my hovercraft. Okay, I'm back. All right, the first thing we need to make for this base is freaking lights. The problem is they have a lot of different lights and I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's for a ground vehicle. That's a, that's a sucky work light. That's an interior light. I don't, does it say how much like, like light it gives or? Like dude, I've got like a bunch of different lights here. I don't know which one to use. Um, I guess I'll just use these, or maybe we'll use a couple of each. I don't know, whatever. Why not? These are, uh, round interior lights. These lights are for plant growing things. Um, this isn't working, because there we go. And I don't have power, so why does this not have power? Like, I... Okay, we're back. Yeah, it was as simple as hitting Y. Just like when I got in my cockpit, you have to hit Y to turn your cockpit on. You have to hit Y to turn this on. Pretty weird, but yeah. Um, we are set up now, and this thing should be crafting. And my door should be doing its thing. There we go. Now we have an automatic door. And I know this is very dark for you guys. I'm very sorry. Let me go craft the lights. Um, okay, so there's the lights. So we've got we've got these lights right here, just regular lights. Then we've got uh, lights for ground vehicle and SV. Um, I'm not. I don't remember. It's gonna take me a while to remember what GV and SV and all that stuff means. Do we have interior lights and round interior lights and spot uh, the spotlight? I'm guessing the spotlight's more for outside. Then we have the medic station that we have to make eventually, but what we're going to make first is going to be the food station. It's the one thing we don't have. There we go. And the food processor. And there we go. We have everything we need for it. So that's good. All right. So let's take these. There. There. And there, and we'll see which one we like best. Five. So let's put this one on the wall. Like so. Ooh. It looks good. It really does, actually. It looks really good. Um, all right, four. By the way, for those of you who don't know who's talking, that's Autumn, my wife. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, this one looks more like it's supposed to go on the roof. Yeah, it looks like it gives the same light. Yeah, I, th I think that one's more for the roof. And definitely this one's for the roof. Whoops. <laughs> this one. That one's definitely for the roof. Um, uh, I'll just put them wherever for now, just because I want to have some lights. But I'm pretty sure that they're mostly for the roof, except for this one. I think that one's supposed to be the one that's on the walls. I like that one. Yeah, well, this one looks better on the roof, and I'm sure that one will too. All right, now we got some lights. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Put down our food processor. Well, before we put down the food processor, let's go ahead and make some more lights. We'll just make a bunch of these for now. And uh, where's my food processor? I saw it was like red. By the way, um, oh, I still have some more of these. All right, uh, six. Put these freaking everywhere. Uh, 
Do I like him like that or like that? I don't know. Yeah, like that's fine. Okay. Uh, we got another one of these. And we should have no more. Okay, that's fine. All right. So let's grab a few more of these. I do not want you guys not being able to see anymore. That's it. That, that part of the game's over. Well, actually, when I'm like running around, I do have a flashlight, but uh, it seems kind of sucky. Six. Can't put one right there because that window is in the way, which is fine. It's good. It's good. More lights. More lights. So bright. Looks good. Looks good. This um. Let's put this down. Four. And one more just here. This is very dirty, but uh, well, you know, it's gonna be better later. All right. So that's nice. That's a nicely lit base. Lights look really good in this game too. Okay, food processor. Uh, where did that go? There it is, number five. So that's gonna go in this room. I could put this anywhere. Um, along the walls. I'm not sure how many crafting things I'm gonna need, but that's a good a spot as any. An internal error occurred. Hmm. Interesting. Give me a sec, guys. Okay, that internal error just, like, I think it's sent it to the developers about it, but it's not really a big deal. Okay, so food processor. We can make now make small med kits, large med kits, anti antidotes, antidote injection, energy pills, antibiotic ointment. Adrenaline shot, stomach pills, flour, space cheese, space bread, space french fries, space popcorn, space grilled steak, um, space ribs, space salami, space ham, space baked pumpkin, uh, space coffee, space energy rations, space sandwich, space dino stew royal, Space canned meat, space canned vegetables, space veggie burger, space meat burger, space pizza, space... Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Thank God Autumn's here. <laughs> um, space waffles, space pumpkin cookies, space fruit pie, and a bunch of plants. I think what happens is when you harvest the plants, you put them in here, and then that gives you more sprouts to plant more plants. So, uh, the main thing we're going to be using this for is grilled steak. And um, let's go hunt. Why do you only want steak? Uh, for now. It's just something that's easy. I know how to get it. Actually, let's use our rocket launcher. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Why not? You got a rocket launcher, you gotta use a damn thing. Why are some of your blocks, like, all dented and stuff? Because I accidentally hit them with something, and, um, I gotta make a repair tool, which I will eventually. Oh. Alright. Sorry if I talk a lot. I ask a lot of questions. It's okay. It's good. I'm sure they have the same questions. Alright, let's look for something to shoot in this stupid alien face. Looks like your character that thing's hostile. Gun. That thing's hostile. Oh! Oh yeah, eat it! Right in the mouth. Oh jeez, I hate those things. Oh god, they look like oh, god there's two of them. Oh god, get away! Get him. Those guys poison you. Oh, did you see that rock creature? Oh, that's creepy. I'm gonna go get him. Come on, loot. Gotta loot their butts. Yeah, loot the butt. Loot the butt. Dude, look at that rock creature. I wish I saved my my rocket launcher for him. I'm a little scared. This is a new creature. New, well, newish, new for me. It's a desert golem. Why is he red? Oh, they're all red. Okay. Yeah, I think she's right. I think you have to shoot him in the eye. Unless it just happened to be when he went down. Crushed stone and Promethea more. I mean, like, usually that happens on, like, enemies where you have, like, one weak spot. Yeah. Yeah, there's these uh, drones and they have like a big eye, and if you shoot that, they seem to take more damage. Stupid scorpion guys. You can actually make turrets for your base, but unfortunately they're not automatic turrets. So, 
that kind of blows. Kind of wish they were automatic. Well, they're not automatic for the time being. Your character's like, I so hunky. Yep. Uh, I'll save the rations. I think I'll be okay. And when you can make food. Yeah, but I'm really hungry though. Mm -hmm. You're gonna start eating like your arm, just be like. Nya, nya, nya. All right. Uh, we can't make this raw meat. What is that? Raw meat. Oh, duh. It's not in the inventory. Baby. Now, this meat does have a shelf life. Um, it will go bad. Uh, it tells you right there the perish time. Uh, and the perish time of the meat, the cooked meat, is longer. I don't know what that 25 means. I'm guessing 25 minutes, I guess. But you can make a refrigerator. Which you should. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it right now. I need oxygen. Let me get one more meat. And then we'll go get some oxygen. So... Now that we got the base uh, where it can feed us, uh, you know what? We should probably make a medical bay before we... The, my, the one thing I want to make is a hover car, because you can like then go places really quickly, uh, very easily. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm thinking next video. Uh, maybe... Yeah, I have time. I'll make, a, I'll make a medical bay this video. Why don't you uh, move Oxygen. Your, why don't you move your feet? You can't. It's just an escape pod. Oh. I think you can fix this yeah. escape pod, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make my own... My own vehicle. Alright. Um, no, nothing in there. What did I come back here for? Just oxygen? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I love being like your little helper in yeah. this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's make ourselves a health station. <sighs> Put on the jetpack. Let's go! Wee! Wee! Ow! Wee! Ow! Wee! Aw. <laughs> You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Okay. Uh, leave me alone. Let me finish up. And I'll, I'll be out in a couple minutes. Alright, guys. So, now we are going to make the... Medical station, and we're gonna need medical components for that. So let's see what we got here. Medical components. Oh, look at all these new things you can do. Look at this shower, toilet, bathroom vanity. Like, this is like some hardcore stuff, guys. <laughs> uh, what did I say? Electronics, control device. Damn, I get easily distracted. Um, I think I said medical components. Metal components, close enough. Metal components. Okay, let's make 10 of those. We're going to need a lot of those anyway. Let's put this down here. Put this down here. What is this? Spoiled food. Oh, yeah, food. Uh, there we go. Food goes bad, so eat it up, you know. It's better off in your stomach than going bad, you know. Um, let's just put this stuff in here for now. Quickly. I don't like doing inventory management on camera. I don't know if I need that spoiled food. I'm probably just going to hold on to it for now. And this, and you. And you. Okay. By the way, you might be wondering why I'm keeping uh, four fuel packs. Because those are emergency fuel packs in case I, like, like an idiot... Uh, run out of fuel packs or something. Alright. Eat that. And eat that. Alright, we'll save the last one. Okay. How's that medical station coming along? Uh, medical station. There we go. Yeah, once I get the uh, once I get the hovercraft, it'll be a lot easier to go farm materials. I don't really like want to farm materials without it. Uh, and what I'm going to need for the hovercraft is you basically uh, press escape... And you start, you create a, cra a ground vehicle. And then you need basic blocks. And you also need, um, you need some kind of propulsion. Like, uh, I think I was supposed to use these. Yeah, thruster directionals. These you put on the, f you, you, you put these facing forward, left and right, I believe. And then you put regular thrusters. SV, I think SV is, 
Oh, no, GV. We want GV for ground vehicle. Where's the GV for ground vehicle? There we go. Thruster, normal, GV, ground vehicle. So you put those in the back, and that'll make you go faster. Um, I'm not sure if you... I think you need a hover engine. And I'm not sure what else you need. I made the thing. Um, but I thought there was some kind of, like, hover... Like, thing that made me... Uh, that made the hover happen. But I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just confused. Yeah, I think you just need the hover engine. And the thrusters, I believe. We will find out. We will find out. Okay, so here we go. And we'll put this bad boy right... That's going to be a wall. Ooh, this is a small room. We're going to make. We're gonna put this room back two spots, and if it really bothers me enough, I will break this stuff up. Sacrif I'm not sure if I get back everything, all the resources I put into the generator or the uh, small fuel tank, but I will sacrifice those extra resources just to make sure my base is symmetrical somewhat um all right so four i'm gonna do this and this jetpack get up there jetpack off take this down okay all right that's gonna be a little better okay so five so that means we can put i won't put anything else over here uh, i'll just put these across here and we want these facing this way. Um, how close do I want it to be there? I go probably right there. I don't think it really needs to be anywhere else. It's a good spot for it, I guess. And now we should be able to sp step in this and get healed. Um, you don't really need to step into it, but I like to step into it just because it's cool. And there we go. We just got healed. And there's an oxygen one you can make that does the same thing. Um, I might move these around at some point. The thing is, I hate knocking them down because then you waste the resources. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Okay, um, God, I think that's just about it. Yeah, yeah, I think we are ready to work on our hovercraft tomorrow. Uh, I will do some more research on the hovercraft. I will try and gather most of the resources beforehand so you don't have to sit through that. And, uh, you know, we will be making a hovercraft next video. So anyway, that's going to be it for episode four. We'll see you next time for episode five. Till then, take it easy.